Hello, now it's time to start preparing the project to generate the terrain that we will create in this area. Terrains in land design can be created from point clouds or curves in the 3D space. So first we need to generate these curves that we will elevate afterwards with this uh, elevate curves command that you can find under the uh, terrain toolbar. So now we have here some uh, boundary curve that we will offset in order to generate these curves. So once we have the curve selected, we go here, we select this offset curve command. In the command line, you can define the offset distance, so three meters is fine, and we click inside uh, well, inside this area to generate this offset curve. So we can repeat this operation several times. until we get a good number of curves. Now, let's move to the perspective viewport in order to appreciate how these curves are elevated. Although it's important that uh, you have the model more or less uh, viewed from the top of it. So now, we run the elevate curves command and this dialog, this elevate curves dialog appears. Here we can define the start dimension for the first curve, the increment of the interval between the curves. And here you draw a line that will define uh, all the uh, curves that uh, intersect with it and will be elevated. So we make sure that this line uh, intersects with all the curves you want to elevate. And when this is done, you need to run the apply pattern so all these curves are elevated. You can play with the different uh, dimension of the increment, apply it to see how this changes, even uh, choose the invert, op invert uh, option. And finally, when you're done, just click on this close button to see how the changes have been applied. Finally, we will move all these elevation curves to a new layer. So we create a sublayer here that we'll call terrain elevation curves. We select all these curves. We right click here and select this change object layer option. 